Hello Capricorns, welcome to your love reading for June 2021. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic month so far. This is going to be a love reading for all of my Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Capricorns. Capricorns, the High Priestess, I forgot to show you guys just now, but the High Priestess was at the bottom of the deck when I was shuffling um, before the reading. And I do feel like some of you guys are having, um, you guys are very intuitive um, with whoever this is. I feel like you have a very intuitive connection. Um, I also feel like you guys are, could be psychics or intuitive people, but I feel like maybe lately you have been having trouble reading this person or reading the relationship. I don't know who this is for, but um, definitely it's been seeing that somebody was having um, trouble um, tuning into how this person's feelings. Maybe they're not being exactly clear with their feelings, um, but that was just a general message for somebody out there. Um, just a quick disclaimer, guys, if this reading resonates, that's awesome, but if it doesn't, it just means it wasn't the reading for you, and you can feel free to check out your moon, rising, or Venus signs alongside my past or future videos. Crosswatchers is a safe place for you guys as well, so just keep that in mind while watching the rules could be vice versa. Um, if any messages such as family, friendships, or career pop out into this reading, that may very well be the case as well, but this is mainly focused on romance and love and whoever you're currently connected to or were connected to in the recent past. Okay, guys, so we got a lot of, a lot of um, major arcana on the board. Well, I guess we have two, <laughs> two major arcana, but we got a lot of strong, powerful cards here is what I'm seeing. The Eight of Pentacles has been waiting to pop out for every single Every person's reading on the other, on the crosswatcher side, which is kind of um, funny. It's always in the same, like, position, too. I don't know why. Okay. Wow. 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 Okay, guys. Um, so let's start off with the Page of Cups, and we have the Ten of Cups. So this is very positive, guys. Um, you could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but Capricorn, you guys are definitely finding yourself this month. You know, you guys are definitely finding, um, getting in tune with yourself and finding um, that inner confidence. I do feel like there is a lot of happiness, a lot of happy news coming your way, celebrations um, with the family and friends. I feel like there's something that you're wanting to celebrate, but also this just shows good times are ahead. I do feel like there's somebody, um, a younger water sign, wanting to offer you... Um, offer you a connection I'm wanting to offer you something wanting to date you wanting to get to know you more offering their small cup of love that they have at the time so I do feel like somebody that is definitely wanting to get to know you somebody that is this could also be um some a friend or someone that you've known but I feel like maybe if it's a friendship this hasn't been taken to the next level yet and maybe you guys just stayed friends and now you're kind of wanting to explore the romantic side to this friendship for others of you this could just be somebody that you just recently met where you're open to um getting to know and you are excited about it you have a lot of excitement for whoever this is and you're thrilled i do feel like this is a very positive connection this is somebody that could um, have that long-term potential with but this is a very happy connection um, i do feel like this person has a bit of a um not immaturity, but they can come across as a bit childlike, a bit um, immature at times, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just this person, um, they have a, okay, I say this, they have a very youthful um, look at, uh, outlook of life. They're just a very youthful person, very spontaneous, open-minded person that um, kind of is, um, they just have a very, um, I'm hearing unique perspective on life as well. Okay, so we have the Justice card and the Fool card. I do feel like there is still some unfinished business between you and another person is what I'm seeing here. You could also be dealing with a Libra for some. But there's definitely somebody that you have unfinished business with, Capricorn. There's somebody that is still lingering in the distance, somebody that is still um, still has your attention. I'm seeing here somebody that um, there hasn't been, the door hasn't quite closed between you and another person. And I feel like maybe that's why you are a little bit, maybe you've been a bit guarded with whoever this is, whoever you've been talking to. I also feel like maybe you've talked to this person about the ex, that past person that you had to walk away from. I'm seeing you had to walk away from somebody, um, somebody you had unfinished business with. And I feel like you, this person, whoever this new person is, has definitely helped you heal from this. And if you haven't quite healed, I feel like 
you, they're helping you heal. They've been helping you get um, through these um, hard situations that you've been through. And it's been really helpful. I'm seeing here, um, definitely some justice that needs to be taken care of. Something, um, so this person might be trying to come back into your energy as some of this, um, the ex or the past person is trying to come back in. I do feel like they're, you definitely being a bit guarded at this time, not really wanting to hear what they have to say. But at the same time, I think you will, um, you will hear what they have to say, but I did feel like definitely you're not going to um, back down from this. You're not going to, you're going to stand up for yourself because I feel like whoever this was wronged you. And I'm also seeing it could have to do with um, you seeing messages. Some There were certain messages that um, got exposed or a picture of them with somebody else that got exposed and you're not wanting to hear about it and you had to move forward. I feel like you took a chance and moved forward. You took a chance and I feel like that's what you're the fool being here too is you're taking a chance with this new person. You're willing to take a chance and see if there's something more to this connection than what meets the eye. And you're open to getting to know this person. You're willing to just take a risk and take a chance. I feel like you move, walking away from the past person opened up your eyes a lot to whatever, what you truly want out of a partnership. And you want someone that's honest, obviously. I mean, you know, you don't, you want someone honest, trustworthy, loyal, somebody that's going to have your back. It's not going to just um lie to your face you know and so I feel like whoever this is they seem to come across as a very honest person I do feel like this person can be a bit blunt at times but you don't mind that because I feel like you want the honesty honest like honestly you want the honesty so I feel like whoever this is you're willing to take a risk for because I feel like you already trust them you already have a uh, trust in them like I said this could be somebody you've known or friend like somebody you've been friends with or you've been acquaintances with and um and like I said, if it's someone new, they just have that, um, they just have a certain personality where they're just very upfront and honest. And so I feel like it just automatically makes you feel more comfortable. We have the Queen of Wands. Fire Energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. They're definitely a passionate person. They definitely um, have, they're, they have, they could be a very creative person, but I also feel like this is their energy towards you. They want to nurture you. They want to, they um, want to take care of you. They want to be, um, they always want to be around you because they just have a lot of passion for you. They have a lot of care for you, you know? And I feel like this person, like I said, they can become across as a bit um, blunt and they're fiery, they're outspoken. They speak their mind. And that's really what you like about this person. But this could also be you coming through Capricorn. Maybe you have this personality as well maybe you tend to be a bit of a blunt person as well or you just have a very you have a pretty fiery personality you know and so this person really likes that about you if that's the case I feel like also I feel like this person's given you flowers or you could have given this person flowers recently also seeing it was somebody's birthday like you just celebrated a birthday of some sort whether it was a sister it could have been a sister or um a friend eight of cups they had to walk away. There was somebody that they had to walk away from as well. Somebody that, you know, they could have, they could have gone to school with this person or worked with. And that's where they met that person. But they had to walk away from a person so they could find fulfillment, so they could find happiness and contentment from within themselves. Because I feel like this person, um, maybe they, they feel like, okay, I'm just going to say whoever they were with in the past definitely um, would nitpick at them. They were criti they're really critical of them, and I'm scary. They were a bit critical, and they would just judge them all the time. This person is comes across as a very caring and endearing and nice person. I don't feel like um, they don't come across as somebody that's, like, mean or deserve to deserved this. You know, they didn't deserve to be, like, criticized all the time. I feel like they were um, very good to whoever they were with in the past. Um, but they had to walk away from this because they couldn't take it any longer. I feel like they had to take a stand. And I feel like you guys are kind of mirroring each other in a way because I feel like you, whoever you walked away from, maybe they were very critical of you or judged you too. And you felt like maybe you were judged, uh, judged a lot by the person you were with and you wanted to be accepted by the next person you were with. You wanted to feel accepted. You wanted to feel... Like they accepted you for you and they weren't criticizing you all the time or telling you what to do with your life. And you just want somebody that would just be, you know, okay with your lifestyle, okay with um, like your, um, you having freedom, you know. And so 
I do feel like this person is definitely a good match for you because they went through something similar. And I feel like you guys have very similar personalities is what it's sounding like here. This person wants to work on, um, they want to build something special with you. They want to build something special with you because they definitely do see that. Like I said, they see fulfillment with you. They see happiness with you. They see like you are what they've been wishing for. They've been wishing and hoping to meet somebody like you. And every time they're around you, they just feel very um, happy. They feel very blessed to meet you. Um, somebody's name could be Blessing, I'm hearing, or someone's middle name could be Blessing. I'm also saying Angel. Um, but I do feel like this person is just wanting to work on things. They want to um, work on the relationship and see if there is more to it than what meets the eye. Because I feel like this is very new, whatever, whether you've known this person forever, or you just met this person, the dating part is very new and the opening up the feelings. I feel like you're just now doing that or you're about to open up to this person in June. And I think that things are definitely going to take off. I feel like they want to work on this and they're really um, excited about it. They're excited about um, seeing where this connection can go because they see that you guys fit very well together. You guys work out well together. Your lifestyles are similar. Your um, personalities are even similar. And I feel like for some, maybe you're like, oh, is, we're going to clash. But at the same time, I feel like, um, I don't feel like your personalities are actually going to clash. I feel like there's actually, um, like, they just work really well together, honestly. We have Ten of Cups. Woo! Again, guys, Ten of Cups. Just clarifying that this person could be the person you're meant to be with. This person could be the person for you at the end of the day. Somebody that, you know, this is... Wow, something serious, you know, something very serious. So we have the four of cups and the five of coins. Yeah, okay, so this person's been through it. Um, okay, wow. So this person is, they do come across as a bit unavailable. They're coming across as a bit like, like thinking, like overthinking the situation, like should, is it worth the risk? Because I do feel like maybe this person could also have family or they could have a child and they're like, they have to make decisions very like seriously. They can't just, you know, mess around. Um, they don't have to have a child, of course, but I do feel like for someone out there, this person does have a child and that's why they're trying to take it slow. If they are taking it slow with you, that's why, because they don't want to rush into anything and just like, and you could also have a child too, I'm seeing here as well, because there's a lot of children on the card. So I do feel like children could definitely be involved here. Um, but there, are, I think that's the reason why maybe you both are taking it slow because you don't want to rush. They, you want to make sure that this is right. You want, they want to make sure that this is the right decision for them. And they want to make sure that's the right decision for you as well. Because if you're the one with kids, they also want to make sure that like, they're not, you're, they're not wasting your time. You know, because they don't want to waste your time because I do feel like they definitely respect you so much and they care for you. But they're also but they also feel like very happy around you. They also feel very joyful when they're with you. They feel like they can see that, but they just want to make sure and be responsible about it. It's funny because I said compared to cuts, they can come across as immature. But I feel like they're not immature. Like, I take that back. I don't feel like they're immature. I feel like they just have a year of youthful spirit, but I feel like they're actually very mature which I don't know why I said they're immature. I feel like they're kind of come across as actually pretty mature because they're, they're just, they're they want to take it seriously between two. They don't want to mess around. They're not looking to mess around. They're looking, if they're going to be dating someone, they want to be serious. They don't want to just get into a fling and it not work out, you know, and they don't want to jump into anything too fast. They just want to make sure that this is the real deal and make sure what you guys have between two is just something that can turn to something long-term you know, and I do feel like this person is definitely seeing it. And I feel like it's the more you guys get to know each other on that romantic level, the more you guys realize how um, special this is. Both of you guys are realizing that this is very special, that this is very real. This is very, um, a very loving, and uh, endearing connection. Like I said, this is something that is, like I said, it just makes you feel very happy when you're with them, they just, I feel like so for some, this person could have done that. Like they've come up behind you, like this person has, and they're just kind of holding you from behind and dancing with you. I'm also seeing, like, I'm seeing somebody dancing with somebody. Um, also seeing the Frozen um, <laughs> soundtrack playing, like you guys could really like the movie Frozen, or you could just really like Disney movies in general, or this person could. 
But yeah, definitely a lot of um a lot of emotional. I'm oh wow. I'm also seeing here that like maybe you guys are having you guys could have both had a drink or um and you guys are both kind of like and confessing each other your feelings to each other i'm seeing as well like maybe you like started to confess you, your feelings for one another over a few drinks um if you guys don't drink it could still they could still be confessing their feelings over some tea or coffee or something just because i don't know i'm seeing drinks involved it doesn't have to be alcohol but it could be like tea or coffee like there i do see somebody confessing their feelings though this month so I do feel like there's definitely going to be an emotional conversation taking place between you two um, about where to go. So uh, one last message. Somebody likes to wear beanies. Okay, that's all. Okay, guys. So that's all I have for this reading. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, if, it, um, if you would like to give it a thumbs up, I'd greatly appreciate it. You can comment down below. And you, if you vibe with me as a terrier, you can feel free to subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye Capricorn.